Hey there, what is going on guys? General Gorilla here, and today I am back for another video. And today, as you can see right in front of me, we have another computer here. And we're going to do a uh, little computer build. It's going to be kind of a project, so it's not going to be all done in one day. Um, today the plan is, is to kind of clean it up a little bit, because it's still pretty dusty. And uh, this is actually my first case that I've ever actually owned as a computer builder. It's a Rosewell Galaxy three I'm pretty sure and uh, we're gonna put a power supply in it and we're gonna put a motherboard and my graphics card for my old computer in it and that's probably as far as we're gonna get um, we might kinda plan out the cable management a little bit and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video but let's go ahead and jump right into it let's go ahead and get these side panels off uh, Yeah. so I've actually figured out a way to record without uh, holding the camera, so that's good. Let's go ahead and put these some screws right here. And uh, I'll be back once I get the side panel off and everything like that. I'm gonna just kinda gut it and yeah, I'll be back. Alrighty guys, so I am back. And uh, so, I've removed pretty much everything. I, uh, hold on, let me pull it closer. So, you actually have a front panel stuff up here. You have the front panel here, so this is the top panel, I guess. And then you have the two side panels. We went ahead and removed all that. So it's just an empty chassis. So we have a, a couple fan plugins here. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You got a standard Rosewell fan back here. I don't think you can put it 140. No. So the biggest you can put in the back is a 120. And then up here, pretty sure it's the same. Yep. We have a 120 uh, Rosewell LED fan. Uh, so that's pretty nice and then we can put another 120 fan up here I'm pretty sure and then the uh, the side panel supports a 140 so I plan to use all the fan slots as if or just because like it's probably a good idea considering I mean there's quite a bit in front of that intake fan so we probably push, should put more in there just for better airflow so uh, yeah first order of business let's go ahead and put in the power supply so got the power supply right behind me here and just so you guys know, there is front I.O. on this um, case, just all the front panel connectors um, came off with the top and side panel, or front panel, so, yeah. Um, here's the power supply. It's a uh, Rosewill, or not, wow, man, I'm so used to saying Rosewill. Now, this is an EVGA 500 watt power supply. It's a really good power supply. A lot of people use it, and uh, <clears throat> would highly recommend it if you're building a computer for the first time. And uh, we're going to have the fan facing down into the fan filter here, so let's go ahead and get that set up. Hold on. Alrighty then. So now that I have all the fan connectors out of the way, I just need to go ahead and slip the power supply in. So we're going to feed these connectors through the hole back here for this, just to make it easier on us. Just for now, so this will stay secure where it's supposed to be, we're going to do that. I have my four screws right here, as you guys can see, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and screw it in real quick. Turn it around. that done. Now we need to go ahead and grab our motherboard and install it here. We already have the standoffs pre-installed as you guys might be able to see. Can you see it? Is there enough light? Yeah you can see it. <clears throat> so yeah we just need to get the motherboard screws and the motherboard and go ahead and install it and uh, yeah I'll be right back when I get all that ready. Alright guys, so I am back, and uh, all I did off camera was uh, install the IO shield over here, and uh, I actually got my motherboard off to the side right here, and as you can see, this is it, hold on, grab it right there, there it is, um, this is a Gigabyte 78 LMT USB 3 motherboard, and uh, it's got an FX90, no, FX6300 in it, and as you notice, there's no RAM in the slots or anything like that, and that's just because, uh, I don't have any RAM with me right now, so this is just going to do, I will put RAM in it eventually, just not right now. So let's go ahead and install the motherboard. I actually need to remove some stuff from the back here. Hold on.
There we go, get the power supply cords out of the way. And let's go ahead and get started here. So, move the fan cord out of the way. Let's go ahead and put it all right here. And you'll know when you uh, have found where you need to be, when it just stops. Hold on, is there supposed to be a standoff here? Alright, well, I don't have any more standoffs, but I think there's supposed to be one there. But it's okay. So, um, let's go ahead and start screwing some things in. I'm going to start in the first corner, right over here. Alrighty then, so, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and do this with it, and uh, yeah, looks like it's coming together a little bit now. We have a processor and my motherboard in there, and uh, obviously eventually we'll have to do some cable management. I've gotten some cable management tips from some people saying uh, if you put your smaller cables first and then you go to your big cables, like the power supply cables, then uh, it works out better, so yeah, I'll... Uh, Go ahead and grab the Grevis card and we'll install that and that'll probably be it for this video. Alrighty guys, now that I'm back, we have the video card right here. As you can see it, it is a, hold on, let me move my hand, EVGA GeForce 960 for the win edition, as you can see right up here. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really good card for the price. I used it for a really long time and was pretty happy with it and uh, I moved on to a 1070 now. So I uh, kind of outgrew this one so I decided to go ahead and throw it in this one. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get, get to it. So, let me move the graphics card out of the way real quick. Just because, uh, the way you do it in this case is a little bit weird. So, as you can see, we have these two screws right here. You need to undo these real quick. So let's do that. Alright, I'm just realizing I need some screws because I don't have them all. Okay, yeah, do that, and then you should be able to just pop this right off. You have this little plate thing that holds it down. Go and throw that off to the side, and um, now you should be ready to install your graphics card. So hold on, let me go get some screws. And I'll be right back. I am back, and um, all you need is these two little screws right here, same screws as you used to get the little plate off, and uh, yeah. So those of you who don't know, when you're installing a graphics card, you want to reach it down in here. You see where I'm pointing to? There's a little thing right here. You want to push that down so you can push the graphics card in. So let's go ahead and grab it. Okay. And uh, should I pull this forward? Let's go ahead and pull this a little bit forward. Can you guys see a little bit better? Uh, hold on. Let me adjust you guys here. Uh, that's a little bit better. All right. So let's go ahead and just do this real quick. So now that you have that thing pushed down, I'm going to go ahead and slide it on in here. Alright, you d couldn't really hear it very well, but uh, you want to hear the click. It didn't really click that loud, but it'll click into place, and then as you can see it's pretty wobbly, and that's what those screws are for. We have screw holes right down here to install it. Hold on, my stand right here is kind of kicking everything. Alright. Alright, let's get this last one in here. Right there. Doesn't like to stay. Maybe. <laughs> These screws are so annoying, I can't stand them. And now we're screwing it in. And there we go. Graphics card is installed. Not wobbly anymore. It's a part of the case. And let's so go ahead and get this little shield on here. <coughs> so you kind of have to put it in a little weird. You just heard it snap in place. That's good. That's what you want. So let's go ahead and screw it in. You guys can see what I'm doing here. It's kind of hard to see, I know. Go ahead and screw that in. Same here. Uh, 
And there you go. We got that installed now. There you go. So, now we have everything installed. We just need uh, some RAM. We need to wire it all up now. And uh, we're going to put some fans up here. And then there's actually one on the side panel. We'll probably put one there. I don't think I have any fans with me that'll fit or that'll do. I want to keep uh, this fan up here black and the one on the side panel black. The only LED that we're going to have is the one over there. And uh, yeah, so we just need RAM, the fans, wired. Um, I'm actually going to put some stuff up here. I'm not going to tell you guys yet. And then we're going to put a hard drive, obviously, in there. So yeah, that's all we have left to do. It's coming along pretty well. Happy with it. Hopefully this is going to be a pretty good one. Probably just going to sell it to somebody. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.